Now we're going to cover how to reference a device under test or unit under test in tension. We have another video for a compression setup. This tension setup in our Morehouse UCM, we've mounted our reference standard and we're ready to set up our load cell in tension. There's several ways to do this. We have these quick change coupling adapters available in all sizes and they're really, really easy to use as far as this load cell that I'm going to show you is an inch and a quarter 12, uh, female and male. And the way these, the quick change adapters work is you have one set of tension members. They are designed in accordance with ISO 376 in mind, so they have some play. They will compensate for about one degree of misalignment, which is quite significant. So these adapters are simple. They screw into these quick change adapters screw into the tension member and you can use all types of sizes. And what this does, people use threaded rod, people use uh, eye bolts, they use all kinds of different things, rod ends, all types of different things. And this simplifies things, uh, aligns the force and we'll show you that. But from this, you just switch this piece in and out. And I'm gonna take this one out and we're gonna mount this, we're gonna mount this load cell here. So in the machine, Typically when people buy these machines, they will put the bottom tension member in and they'll leave it in. There's really no reason to take it out if you have all the quick change adapters. Our clevis set will fit right into it. So what they'll do is they'll just drop this simply into the machine and then we'll thread the top, we'll thread this washer and nut into it from the bottom. So now we have the bottom adapter in, that's tight. And like I said, people just leave that in the machine, really no reason to take it out. And then we have a top one. This, this rod is usually typically two sizes, uh, long and short. There is a spherical in here and we just put, thread the nut on. Now we're gonna mount the load cell. And typical load cell, you wanna know what end is the live end and the dead end. On this load cell, the live end is this way. So we want to face that live end facing the force. And we have our top adapter. Really no rhyme or reason to how you do things. I'm going to screw the top adapter on. Someone may screw it into the uh, um, coupling nut there. Uh, maybe not. This is light enough that you can see I can handle it. And I'm going to screw that in. And some might screw the bottom adapter in. Like I said, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. It's just real, that's screwed in here. Try to get this so everybody can see. This hat swivels, just align it. Get the thread started. And my threads are started now. I'm just threading this on. I can do the same thing on the bottom. As I said, we have several different size adapters. The length of the rod's important, because then you're not going, if you get everything good, you're not continually you know, running up and down. It'll save time to get a longer rod. And I'm, I'm threaded in. Right now, sometimes it's just easier. I got everything. Sometimes it's just a lot easier to turn the load cell. Again, the more, the more people work with these machines, the more they get accustomed to easier, you know, what, what makes it easy for them. This one down here, I'm going to thread this in and then I'm going to have to bring the machine down. The nice thing is as soon as you bring that machine down is if you have several load cells, just do them all in tension, then you switch to compression later really can cut your setup time. So right now, we're just gonna run the machine down. Okay, so now with tension, we've threaded, the, I threaded this down to make connection and it just, it's just a matter of raising everything back up for our tension setup. What we wanna be careful with is we want that nut on the bottom, we wanna leave like, like we did in uh, compression setup, just a little bit of clearance. So that's something you're gonna wanna see, you're gonna wanna, you're gonna to wanna to look at and just a little bit of clearance would be good. So now we have now we have a tension setup and that's it. It's that easy.